Hello everyone. The Oxford vaccine against coronavirus is finally available. However, there are some misunderstandings and misconceptions about the vaccine. Now let's go to our actual topic and see how the Oxford vaccine was made. The aim of the vaccine, like any other vaccine, is to trigger the immune response against coronavirus. Our body is made of millions and millions of cells. The vaccine is like a message which is delivered to our cells. However, like any other message, we need a courier or postman to deliver the message to the cells. The courier or postman in this case is another virus which is harmless to human beings. The message is hidden inside the virus. The virus is then injected in the body in the form of a vaccine. The virus then reaches the cells. Once the message is inside the cell, it triggers immune response against the virus in the form of antibodies and killer T cells. And these antibodies and T cells are exactly what we need against the coronavirus. Now let's see how exactly the Oxford vaccine was made. A coronavirus is like a round ball with a lot of surface projections called spike proteins. The genetic instructions to make the spike proteins are located on the RNA of the virus. A small part of RNA called spike protein gene is actually the message to make coronavirus spike proteins. This message or gene is hidden inside the DNA of another virus which acts as a courier or postman. This virus is called adenovirus. It is genetically modified, therefore it is unable to cause disease in humans. This virus has basically been isolated from chimpanzee, where it causes common cold. The virus is cultured in the laboratory in a special medium on special cells called human embryonic kidney cells. So here is how the final adenovirus carrying the coronavirus gene looks like. These viruses are mixed with the excipients. And this is how the final vaccine is made. But what else is in the vaccine? So inside the vaccine, the main and important components are adenoviruses, each carrying coronavirus gene. In a single dose of vaccine, there are around 50 million viral particles. Apart from the adenoviruses, the second thing in the vaccine is the excipients. And there's a long list of excipients. These include water, sucrose or sugar, sodium chloride or salt, ethanol or alcohol, and other chemicals including alhistidine, polysorbate 80, disodium editate dihydrate, and magnesium chloride hexahydrate. Some people can be worried about the presence of sodium chloride, but there is only 23 mg, which is very low amount. The second concern could be the presence of alcohol, especially among the Muslim community, although the concentration is 0.002 ml. According to the manufacturer, all these ingredients are non-element origin. I hope this video gives you some information about the vaccine, and according to your dietary requirements, and based upon your religion, you can decide whether you find it suitable for you or not. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like.